edition of Seller's Corner, your go-to source for all things reselling. I'm Erin, product specialist at Vendu, and today we're going to talk about how to become a full-time reseller. But before we do, let me invite you to subscribe to our channel. We publish content every week, and it's all related to Vendu product tips, community updates, and information about how to scale and grow your resale business. Many resellers started just selling things around their house or as kind of a hobby or side hustle, even maybe a part-time job. Some have become full-time resellers, some yielding six figures or more in annual profit. Following these channels and these inspiring resellers, you might be super inspired to quit your daytime job and take the plunge as a full-time online reseller. But before you make this leap of faith, there are many practical considerations that you'll want to consider. Last year, I personally quit my full-time job as a paralegal at a law office to become a full-time reseller. This was a decision that took me a long time, many pros and con lists, and many considerations. So here, based on my experience and knowledge of the industry, are some of the practical considerations and tips for becoming a full-time reseller. There are many considerations that you will want to really think about before becoming a full-time reseller. The first is very obvious. How much money are you making reselling? Do you have a super accurate grasp on your actual profit, meaning your, all of your fees being deducted from revenue, your cost of goods, your selling fees, your shipping fees, and most importantly, the payment for your time? Are you profiting enough? What is your profit? When I decided that I was going to start thinking about becoming a full-time seller, I made an agreement with myself that I had to exceed my full-time income for six months consistently before I would seriously consider it. My thought was that if while working full-time and selling part-time, I could exceed that full-time income, that with all the time I would gain quitting the job, being able to resell more, that I would make so much more. And in my case, it was true, but it took diligent planning, record keeping and really hustling for that whole six month period while I was working full time to see how much money I could actually make reselling. In my case, there were other expenses saved. I saved quite a bit of money on childcare. That might be something you'd consider. If you have a long commute, that is a lot of gas or a lot of time. These are all considerations as well, but they're all based upon expense. What is your income currently and what would it likely and reasonably look like as a full-time reseller? And is that sustainable for you and your family? The next consideration along very similar lines is benefits. Whatever you are currently doing for employment or to make income, does it give you benefits? Benefits of course refer to legitimate benefits such as 401k, health insurance, paid time off, sick time, holidays, all of those above, and especially medical insurance because it is expensive. If you currently have all of those things via your employment, you'll have to consider what, which of those you need and how much they would cost to otherwise have. But benefits don't just refer to legal employee benefits, also the benefits that you receive personally the perks, your lifestyle, your comfort level. Considering and weighing those, what they look like in both positions will be something very important for you to make the decision that's right for you. Next is such an important one. Seriously, it sounds so simple, but I don't think we think about it enough. Are you currently happy? Are you happy at your job? Do you enjoy going to work? Do you enjoy the benefits, legitimate and non? And will you be happy as a full-time reseller? Listen, we can't always make our decisions based on happiness. They need to often be made on financial security and other factors, but life is too short 
to be anything but happy. Would you be happy as a full-time reseller, as a small business owner, self-motivated and self-disciplined? I personally acquired a ton of happiness giving up that job, spending extra time with my little one, but it's very isolating. It's, I found it tough to give myself a reason to do my hair or put on legitimate clothing. And there's a lack of socialization that surrounds working from home and alone. Your happiness, what you need to be happy, to feel productive, to feel accomplished, fulfilled, and valued, and that you're growing in your career or job, those are really important considerations. And you have to think about what they look like now versus what they would look like. Next is taxes. Taxes stink, but they're such an important part of being a small business owner. If you become a full-time reseller, whereas you're currently a hobbyist or a part-timer, your tax bracket will likely change. That means the rate that you're taxed and the amount you pay in taxes will likely change. I highly, 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 highly recommend speaking with a tax specialist or accountant. TurboTax is not going to cut it. You could be missing valuable deductions that could save you money or missing taxes that you need to pay that could get you in trouble. When you're a full-time reseller, you need to have your finances in order. It is tough to qualify for a credit card or a mortgage or anything if your income is not properly documented. Taxes can also be tricky to navigate. Prior to even making this consideration, you should definitely learn more and seek that advice from someone that's legitimately authorized to give it to you and not someone online. <laughs> it's really important uh, and I've made my fair share of mistakes along the way. You might have slid by kind of just claiming extra income or not totally claiming everything as a hobbyist. That will not work or be sustainable as a full-time reseller with reselling being your only source of income. You definitely want to have all of that boring business stuff in order because it's super important. The next consideration might actually be the most important one because I see so many people and even at times myself struggle with it. Are you self-disciplined? To be a full-time reseller, to work independently and be your own boss takes an extraordinary level of self-discipline, especially if you're working from home with all the distractions of home, the ability to be on your phone, looking at TikTok or take a nap whenever you want. There is no one to report to except yourself. This can go both ways. That can mean that you won't be super uh, productive and efficient, or it could mean that you'll be working too much and too hard on yourself and not able to maintain a healthy balance. Being self-disciplined and appropriately holding yourself accountable for reasonable goals and reasonable productivity, knowing when you need to seek help with things, these are all considerations that you will have to be very, very conscious of to be successful and happy in your new role as a full-time reseller, small business owner, and your own boss. The next consideration is what is your emergency plan? Listen, there are a thousand scenarios that we could think of that are emergencies, hopefully none of which are practical, but big disasters, catastrophes, natural disasters, those things are not planned. What happens if something happens to you? If you cannot physically work, do you have a security blanket? a nesting egg of income? Do you have something else to fall back on and other opportunities to pursue? Are you properly insured? So if that you're hurt on the job, your own job, you have insurance that will help you financially. What if your primary reselling platform changes their algorithm or goes bankrupt tomorrow? Can you sustain that? Are you selling other places? To have an emergency plan that accommodates all of these scenarios and more as best as possible is the best way to go. We can't plan for everything and we shouldn't get too scared, but having an idea 
backups so that in the event of this, you're not totally destroyed financially will be most beneficial to you. So you'll definitely want to start to create that nesting egg of savings and also the practical considerations on how you will diversify your income on multiple reselling marketplaces, perhaps on social media, perhaps with other side hustles, if reselling is becoming your main goal. There are a million things that you can do to set yourself up as best as possible for if some emergency or unfortunate event occurs in your life or your family. The very last tip is to just plan. And that's obvious, right? Planning is a component of all of the other things that we discussed. Starting to treat your business like a business will be very important for you. Planning, keeping records, reviewing margins, having the proper bookkeeping and tax preparation things in place, establishing a workflow, a healthy work and life balance, Planning all of these things and adhering to a consistent schedule are, of course, the most important things you can do for best results. However, don't forget to be a little flexible too. That's the benefit of being your own boss. It is empowering, it provides you with freedom, and it can provide you with so much purpose and security. It's not for everyone, but if you think it could be for you, do not be intimidated, plan and try it. There are so many resources available for resellers, ongoing training, eBooks, tools, the Vendu YouTube and vlog itself is filled with so much content that will help you along the way. And there's a huge reselling community out there with tons of people of all ages, of all backgrounds, education levels and socioeconomic status that have become full-time resellers. Reselling is for everyone. And if you think that you are truly ready and you've considered all of these things, then go for it and good luck. Are you a full-time reseller, a part-time reseller, a hobbyist, or somewhere in between? Tell us where you are in your reselling journey below. And if you liked this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time, reseller friends. Happy selling.